Welcome to part two of our series on how to serve host using N8N. In part one, we explored render and saw just how simple it is to serve host using their platform. Now let's walk through doing the same thing, but this time with DigitalOcean. Head over to DigitalOcean.com and you would need to sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Once you logged in and at your dashboard, look to the top right corner and here click Create. Then select Droplets. On the Droplets page, you will see a list of regions. Choose the one closest to your location. It's not critical, just pick the most convenient. Under the Image section, switch to the Marketplace tab and search for N8N. Select the N8N image. Once it's selected, scroll down to the Droplet Size section. Go with the basic plan, and here you select the regular option. For most users, the $6 per month plan is more than enough. After that, you could connect to your droplet as the root user via password, but we're going to be connecting with an SSH key pair. I have generated a few. I'm going to use the N8 and tutorial. I will show you how you can set yours up. To set your SSH key up, we will use two tools, PuTTY and PuTTY Key Generator. Start by opening the PuTTY Key Generator. This tool is used to generate a public and private key pair. Click on Generate and move your mouse randomly over this blank area. This randomness is used to generate a unique cryptographic key. Once it's generated, save both your public key as well as your private key. We're going to use the public key during the droplet creation, so we have to copy that. Go back to your dashboard, click on New SSH Key and paste that in here. Give it any name and click on Add SSH Key. We'll use the private key later when connecting. After all this is configured, just hit Create Droplet. Once the droplet is created, click into it, go to the Networking tab, and enable the reserved IP for this droplet. This step ensures that your droplet's IP remains the same even if the droplet restarts, which is essential for hosting services like N8N or your webhook URLs or any external integrations template. Here you need to select AirDroplet, to which you are going to add a reserved IP. It is successfully created and signed. After reserving the IP, copy the reserved IP address, go back to PuTTY, and in the host name paste in your reserved IP address before connecting. Under the Connection tab, expand the SSH auth credentials. Browse for your private key file, which you stored locally earlier. Click on Open. You'll be prompted to log in typically as root. Type in root, hit Enter. After authentication, using your public key, you'll be securely connected to your droplet. At this point, you are ready to begin installing and setting up N8N. Just to clarify, we don't need to configure dynamic DNS or any sort of address management since the reserved IP takes care of that by keeping our droplet's address static. For the subdomain, just hit Enter to use the default N8N, and for the domain name, I would write Agentic Mode AI. I linked my subdomain to the server by creating an A record that points to my droplet's IP. That way, my domain knows where to send traffic for N8N. I'm going to hit Enter. For the email address, you can provide any valid one, so I'm going to type in and hit Enter. This setup will automatically pull the necessary Docker image and get everything configured for you. Once it's done, it will give you a link to access your N8N instance. Here is the URL. Paste that URL in your browser and hit Enter. You will need to re-enter your credentials. Now you're running a fully self-hosted and 8 n instance on DigitalOcean. If you like this video, hit like and follow us.